Hey everyone, Surreal K9 here. Welcome back for more Disgaea 4 Promise Revisited. In the last episode, we began our assault on the uh, Information Bureau for a variety of reasons. Valva Torres to correct the typo, a measle to prove that he's still alive, Desco as training to become the final boss, and Fuka is uh, apparently tagging along because she thinks this will help her become the president. <coughs> In any case, before we continue our assault, I am going to summon the uh, map creator after all. Create my original map. I'm feeling pretty confident about this. Heck yeah! Can now make our original map. We can upload it through the network. Not that I am connected to the network. At least I don't think I'm connected to the network. Purchase various uh, pieces here. Pretty <laughs> buy stuff here. Can buy geo effects here. So, let's start by, uh... Placing some land. Let's start with this, and... Get quick there. What, why am I overlapping? Alright. Whoa! Rendering, uh... We're having some rendering problems here. Alright, let's play some characters! Move down to it. Let's move a bunch of dudes around here-ish. Yeah, let's move that. That's pretty good. Now then. Let's play Geo Panels! Okay. Let's test battle. I shall re educate you. Here I come. Brace yourself. This would be a bit easier if we had big bang. <laughs> this is what we got. That is looking pretty good. Yeah, sadly it doesn't look like we earn any XP for this, but you know, whatever. Take all of my attacks. 
Oh, we can earn EXP here. It's just not very much. And Fenric is just here kind of holding on because he is Fenric. Alright, let's let everybody... Oh, Valator is going to escape. Okay, that was a thing that happened. So yeah, that was uh, that was something. Did that battle actually count for anything? I suppose it did. So I guess if you know what you're doing, you could make your own grinding map. But uh, I'm not gonna do that because I don't have the right kind of guys for that. That being said, it's time to continue onward. Rotten Core. Let's go. There they are! Intruders! This is your big opportunity. Make sure you show them that you're still alive. Rascal, your very existence is a fact. Go out there with confidence. Oh, on. I know that, damn it! Just watch me. I got this. Can't you see this? You low-class demons! Look at the skull mark on my hood! This proves that I am Death and Measles, the only son of the president of the Netherworld! Right here! Me! I'm Sora Measles! Look! I'm still alive! He sounds kind of desperate. <laughs> Wow. I predicted what Fuka would say. I'm amazing. Well, you got a whole bunch of eyes. <laughs> no way! Sir Amazel? Yes! It's me! Oh, cool. They finally believe me! Psych! Did you really think I'd fall for that? How dare you tarnish the name of poor, dead Sir Weasel, you impudent brat! Hey! But I am a Measel! See? Uh, the skull? That looks too generic. I don't think they're gonna buy it. Hmm. So a trademark should be unique. Desco will take note of that. <laughs> Truer words have never been spoken. Take the death of the president's son lightly. You are hereby sentenced to death. What's wrong with you, rascal? You can't change anything by looking down at the ground like that. You were killed once by their false news, and now they'll kill you for a false crime. Are you going to allow that, rascal? Shut up! And stop calling me rascal! I'm Death and Measle! Fine! I'm gonna prove to them that I'm still alive, even if I have to drill it into their brains! <laughs> That's the spirit, rascal. How thoughtful of you. You possess such an undemon like quality. It is one of your formidable powers.
Here we are, the office building. You got a zillion ninjas for some reason. Let's uh, let's deal with these ninjas. I got this. And of course, to deal with ninjas, you have to get behind them. Go, pretty go! Okay, that's a third of the ninjas taken care of already. Let's see what's in the chest! EXP! Good times! Alright, let's uh, prepare ourselves for a ninja assault. It's over for you. No, I didn't think I was close enough to those guys. Okay. Uh, they're pretty weak. Alright, time for part two of Ninja Assault Frontier. I don't even know where I was going with that title. <laughs> but do I ever? That is my question to you. Alright, Desko, you take care of these two. Who wants roast ninja for breakfast? Not me, that's gross. I mean, unless the ninja happened to be a pig or something, then I might eat it. <laughs> Everybody loves a good bacon. Ninja bacon. It's a thing. <laughs> It's so weird sometimes. But you guys all love that about me, right? fists animation. <coughs> Not that there aren't any obstacles on the way. By the way, if you are curious, the third and fourth walls of the office building look like this. There is really nothing special about them. But yeah, in what strategy RPG do you uh, do you fight a battle in the interior of an office building? <laughs> you just gotta love Disgaea and all its wacky wackiness. Um, I'm probably gonna want Desco to take care of this again. 
We need to get her caught up in terms of levels. Alright. Is that everybody? I think that's everybody. Who is sworn to close that door? Oh. Good times. Damn it! If this skull doesn't do the trick, what else can I do? Do you see how superficial your authority is? At least you got through their security. If you want to, you can just go home now. You don't have to say it like that! You're the one who told me I could clear up the false news if I came here! Well, I lied. Now that we've gotten past their security system, we don't need you anymore. You know, I'm starting to think Fenric is the most evil out of all of these characters. So, you were only using me? That's right. You were used to further the achievements of our Lord's regime usurpation. You should be honored. You tricky bastard! <laughs> You're flattering me. Oh, uh, then does that mean the report of my death won't be changed? Have you been paying attention at all? We came here to take control of this place. Once that's complete, we can easily correct the false news. Uh, I see. Then we just have to defeat the chief of the bureau. Wait, that's right. The chief. I just have to talk to her. The lackeys only know what the newspaper tells them. But the chief should be another story. Unless she's in on it. She should be able to overturn the false news! He's failed every attempt he's made so far. Doesn't he ever learn? Inflicting some trauma might help him learn something. <laughs> <laughs> what? Well, nah, I don't think we need to go that far. All right, so that was a thing that happened. <clears throat> that being said, it is about time we move on with the story. So next time we will continue our assault on the Information Bureau and hopefully prove to the world that a measle exists. Until next time, see y'all later. Bye-bye, dudes.